everyone, welcome to another installment of Monologue Mondays. Today I'm going to be playing the character of Faye from the play Iron, which is a play I'm studying actually currently in one of my acting classes that has been moved online. It's a class where we focus on plays about prison, the prison system, and incarceration. This play was one of my favorites that we've read this semester. It's just so well written and the characters are just so human. Um, this character is really far from my own experiences and what I've been through which is what made it so much more worthwhile to work on. More challenging than pieces I normally gravitate to but that's what has made it so um, rewarding. It's also a character I wouldn't get cast in for at least 20 more years which made it even more fun to, and challenging to put myself um, really in someone else's experience completely. So. Please enjoy, and here is a monologue from the incomparable play, Iron. We'd had a fight. I don't remember what about, but after it was over, he was fine and I was raging. We'd had a few, not that many, but enough so I can never remember all of it. I was just sitting. Just sitting in my chair, like a coal burning in the fire, so full of anger that I couldn't move. I felt like I was scorching my clothes and I never made a sound. And he said, ugh, there's no talking to you. So he didn't. He had a beer, he watched a bit of television, he read the paper and laughed at the sports news. <laughs> And I just sat and once he looked at me and sort of snorted through his nose in disgust and said, aren't you going to bed? And I said nothing. I just sat burning. He had another beer and he fell asleep with the television lighting up his face, his mouth open, and I just sat there and I looked at him and I remember thinking that no one could ever waste so much love on anyone. And I was just so full of crying. I mean, I was just tight with tears from my head to my toes. I was just so full of tears that wouldn't come out. And I just, I sat there and I remembered and what I remembered, what I couldn't stop remembering was a time when we were arguing, when he made me so angry. I felt my anger flash over me and start to burn me alive. And that was the moment that he laughed at me. He set me on fire and he watched me burn and he <laughs> laughed. <laughs> and then the strangest thing happened. I felt my lips pull away from my teeth in a snarl like a dog's. I, I tried to stop it, but my lips kept twitching and pulling away from my teeth. And I bared my teeth like a wolf, like a demon. I felt like my eyes were popping out. In that moment, I felt there was a devil in me. I felt I was the devil. I think I was the devil or his dog. <laughs> and I had a kitchen knife in my hand and I don't remember picking it up, but it was in my hand and I stuck it in him. thinking he could just say or do anything that he wanted to me and then snore away as if how he made me feel had absolutely no consequences at all, the stupid fuck. <laughs> I mean, you would think he would have woken up more, but maybe we had more than I knew. For two seconds, I was glad when I saw him bleed, but afterwards I just wish that none of it would have ever happened at all. I miss him so much. 
I miss him so much and I wish that I had just never met him to hurt him so. But you should remember your dad. He loved you. You should remember your dad and and you should go away from here and never come back.